Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We've had fan-oriented and analytic discussions on a variety of animated shows, movies, and anime. Currently featuring Steven Universe, Star Wars Force of Evil, um, among others. I'm Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by April Collins. Hello! And Haley Neighbors. Hi there! Today, April, Haley, and I will be taking your questions and comments for the recent uh, Steven Universe Wanted special that aired on Monday of this week. Uh, we will be going through all of the many feedback uh, items that we have received from our uh, recap podcast, which you can check out at OverlyAnimated.com. I'd highly recommend listening to our recap podcast, although I don't think it's necessary. But uh, we have a lot of listener feedback from a lot of different people here, mainly centered in theories. Um, so there's going to be a lot of that. You know, typically our feedback podcasts are like, oh, I like the episode or like, uh, you know, but this, this is like <laughs> hardcore theory. <laughs> crafting for a solid hour that's about to happen so buckle up like this is going to be fast and intense and we're going to start by focusing in on uh who killed pink diamond but yeah check out overly animated uh dot com and overly animated dot com slash itunes to subscribe um even more wanted uh coverage coming up from justin and michelle after this and we're still waiting to know or I guess we started waiting to know when Steven Universe will be coming back. Uh, that, that begins again. So, okay. Uh, let's get into this. I will be reading feedback items from a lot of people. Category, the first category of feedback <laughs> entails who killed Pink Diamond? And I'm going to uh, begin us off by reading a quote from, uh, Eric Thurm of the AV Club. He does weekly re- or we- episodic reviews of Steven Universe on the AV Club. He always does a wonderful job. And, uh, I've excerpted part of his review. He says, from a plot perspective, the most surprising part of Wanted is the creation of a real central mystery. Who killed Pink Diamond? Uh, though Yellow is the obvious suspect, Rebecca Sugar has described the upcoming Steven Universe arc as a murder mystery, so we will likely have a ways to go before fun- finding out who did it and why. Um, now, I'm not sure where he's getting that from, the, the R. Sugar quote, but... <laughs> Uh, he's a, I assume he's right. So, uh, that's, that's pretty interesting. Definitely seems like the, the big item to have developed after Wanted is the introduction of doubt as to Rose killing, uh, Pink Diamond. Now, I, I think on this podcast, we personally had doubt about that for a long time, but like now it's, it's pring, it's coming into play, uh, in the show. Um, and, uh, so I, I don't think we like, we drilled into this a lot on the recap podcast. Um, I don't think I expressed a firm opinion. And the great thing about this topic is I don't really have a firm opinion on this. So I can weigh in on a lot of different levels. Um, I ran a poll on our Patreon group, uh, one of the many benefits of becoming an overly animated Patreon patron, um, about, uh, I said, I said, who killed Pink Diamond? About half of the responses were Pearl. And about the other half were, uh, Pink Diamond's not dead and never was. So <laughs> we are, we're basically evenly split there. Uh, there's many other options as well, including yellow and a lot of other, uh, and some other people we'll get into. But, um, briefly, uh, before we get into the first suspect here, which I would like to talk about Pearl, uh, April, what, walk me away from wanted. What was your impression on this question of who killed Pink Diamond? Uh, my impression of this question, um, it, I mean, especially after listening to that quote that you just read, it's, I mean, I can very much see how they've set up this like, oh, hey, we're going to solve a murder mystery kind of thing. And so it's, I guess it's an ex- an interesting direction to take the show. So, um, but who killed Pink Diamond? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm as split as the Patreon group. <laughs> okay, interesting. So we'll, we'll see if we can convince you with some of these theories here. April. Yeah. Um, uh, Haley, what's your take on this? Uh, I'm very excited for like a murder mystery thing. Cause that just seems like an awesome way to propel the plot forward by centering it around that. Um, and I'm same as April and you, Dylan, I am not hard and fast on anyone. I do like the idea of Pearl because that seems like, I feel like there's more to Pearl that has kind of been hinted at that we haven't really seen. Um, but I don't know if Pink Diamond necessarily, maybe she was killed and then resurrected a couple seconds later, like Lars, but I feel like she's going to come back at some point, but whether she was killed, quote unquote, or not, I'm not sure. Right. Now that we've ent- entered yeah. the element of uh, Stephen's resurrection powers into the equation, it's not uh, clear what uh, mm-hmm. that y- mm-hmm. y- y- you have the option of picking any of these options. 
and uh, also, you know, uh, thinking that Pink Diamond will come back into play. So uh, yeah, the concept is, of death has changed on this show. Yeah, and that is yes. one of the, that, that is one of our feedback items, and we'll, we we'll, we might get to that. I definitely want to focus in on the suspects here. So we're going to start with Pearl. I think that was the big mm-hmm. thing we missed on the recap podcast. Uh, I didn't necessarily know that there'd be these big reactions like, "Oh my God, Pearl did it!" So um, that's going to be our lead story here: is did Pearl kill Pink Diamond? A lot of people took that away from the Wanted episodes. Um, uh, save us wins says i'd love for you guys to discuss what role you think pearl could have had in pink diamond's death if any thank you uh save us wins that is a good uh introduction <laughs> to this topic yes exactly that's exactly what i want to talk about so um let's get poly matt's take on this and then there's uh some other stuff related to this but poly matt's poly matt says um blue diamond says pink was shattered by a sword my immediate thought was that this is that this was further evidence of pearl being pink's assassin after all while pearl's weapon of choice is a spear she has been see- seen using a sword such as in the answer as blue zircon testified that pink must have been shattered by someone close to her i hope she would say she was shattered by a pearl or any one of her own attendees rather than pointing towards the diamonds so basically this pearl theory is rooted in the uh possibility that blue zircon went too far with the uh with the accusing the diamonds but uh was she was potentially right about it being someone close to uh pink diamond maybe our pearl is pink diamond's pearl and that uh, she would have been close to that um uh Haley, you said you're you're interested in this theory uh do you think that wanted gave a uh, good evidence towards uh this pearl theory i think so just because it was interesting how they just frame the shots of when they like Zircon really focused on mentioning like the pearls in Pink's entourage. And like, we had that zoom in on the pearls, Mm -hmm. um, which I feel like would have been a weird thing to do if they weren't trying to reference anything else. Um, But, and I like the idea of with a sword as well, relating it to pink because I know, or with Pearl, because I know Rose has her sword, but I feel like Pearl has been um, like more closely connected to swords throughout. So it would kind of be a nice resolution. I do believe that Pearl, our Pearl, is White Diamond's Pearl, just based on the placement of her gem. Um, I don't know how that will get into it at all, but I feel like Pearl could have have been an idea. (laughs) What do you think? (laughs) Oh, well, because, you know, in my many theories, because I like the idea, I also like the idea that, like, uh, Pearl was the person who killed Pink Diamond, but I think that she was more or less put up to it. Kind of, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, she yeah. may have been the actual person to kill her, but it wasn't necessarily her fault, if that makes sense. Like, I, yeah, I she's like the, part of a bigger plot kind of thing. Yeah, that's what that's that's kind of what I'm sort of leading to. But then there's always questions whenever it comes to like if you accuse someone, because like, wouldn't you think that our Pearl would have recollections of this unless there's some kind of power somewhere where you can make people forget things or Pearl just hasn't always been honest with us throughout everything. It's highly but possible. <laughs> what, well, it's highly possible, but at the same time, like I feel like in terms of like the characters, if they're, if they're keeping something, they hint at it as soon as they possibly can. So, and there's never, I mean, I've, I've been re-watching the entire series and I'm still, I'm like looking for it. I'm like, okay, where, like, where is it hinted that Pearl could have done this and she's just keeping it from us kind of thing now. Like it's in the back of my head. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, but, I, I think that, um. I think this theory is potentially plausible, but like April is saying, I think clearly the biggest evidence against this is that our Pearl, we have no evidence that our Pearl, uh, knows that she did this. Um, mm-hmm. any mm-hmm. Pearl has been associated with secrets a lot throughout the Hearst, her, throughout the run of Steven Universe, but they've always been Rose's secrets. Um, mm-hmm. we've been presented Pearl as being an open book. Uh, like, honestly, there's really nothing that it seems like Pearl is keeping from us. Uh, like nothing, like even like with the, I mean, and it's, it's silly sort of example, but like she would, she never kept it secret that she didn't like Jen or not Jen, uh, (laughs) humans, Steven. Yeah. Humans in general. So, I mean, like even like, she doesn't like Greg, she was never, you know, shy about those feelings, even when him and you know, Rose first started, I guess, dating. So it just seems like it's such a big secret that they hadn't started to hint at, you Mm -hmm. know. I definitely like the idea, though, like you were saying, of her 
like I don't think Pearl just did it on her own because that doesn't mm. seem really within her character because she is so obsessed with Rose. But I could definitely see what you're saying there, where Rose maybe talked talked her into doing it, or she had Someone a, a opportunity or it. something. Yeah, yeah. No, I definitely could see that being a possibility. But I don't think she just was a rogue agent or anything. There's definitely yeah. there's definitely an underpinning of uh, some sort of uh, conspiracy throughout any of these uh, theories, like. Any yeah. one of these theories can be associated with the pink is, uh, like either pink is on the side of the rebellion or there's like the rebellion has like an in on the home world. Um, mm-hmm. anything can, that, mm-hmm. that can run throughout anything. Um, definitely Pearl, if Pearl was Pink Diamond's Pearl, uh, she could have had the opportunity. Um, but, uh, I genuinely believe that the Crystal Gems believe that Rose killed, uh, uh, Pink Diamond, um, based on their reactions. They do seem to, yeah. Yeah. And it's like that, and it doesn't seem like Pearl knows about this. Um, we mentioned memory wiping, like, we can't rule anything out at this point with Steven's powers, so, you know, <laughs> it's, it's possible. Um, Maybe he can wipe memories. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think this is, like, compelling because we like, uh, Pearl's, like, a great character. Um, it would, it would definitely be shocking if, like, there's some, some past in, in Pearl's history, like, like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty unconvinced of this one, though. I, yeah, I, I mean, it just seems like there's a lot of pieces that would be missing from the theory in order to make it hold true. So if they address them, then that's great. But at the same time, it's like, I like the theory, but there's not any real evidence that would lead me to firmly believe it. So Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. I think it'd be really cool for her character and everything, and it'd be like an awesome oh, scene yeah. to see happen. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. I like it; it appeals to me, but I I can see where there's flaws. Unless maybe they can mind wipe. You never know. Now, but, yeah. yeah, no, they they definitely could go. This, they could go this route. I'm not saying it's impossible. I don't think anything is mm-hmm. impossible with regards to this. We just don't have enough no. information. Um, but uh, you know, it definitely goes against what we know about Pearl. So uh, mm-hmm. it's, I'm inclined not yeah. to believe it currently. I also think there's just more compelling answers to this question. Um, yeah. Something yeah. I'm going to point out, uh, I'm going to start to get into now, is the fact that uh, a lot of the things we know are very vague. And a lot of the information that's been presented to us and wanted is ambiguous. Um, I, I, like, I think a lot of people might have a strong reaction to us discounting certain things. Um, but I'd like you to, uh, for out of any of these things, try to reconsider that it, it might not be as definitively presented as, uh, as you might think. Um, the trial in particular is such an ambiguous episode. Um, I've watched it a few times now. First of all, I think it's incredible, but, um, they, they <laughs> provide a lot of information, uh, that could go multiple directions. And, uh, your first, inter- your first interpretation watching it might not be definitive. Um, so I'd, I want to get into the second category here of the possibility that Pink Diamond is not dead, uh, wasn't dead, um, is part of a conspiracy, like it was in on the, ho- the rebel- Rose's Rebellion. Um, a lot of people subscribe to that theory. Um, I also subscribe to that theory, used to at least, but uh, there's been a <laughs> big feedback item here that I, we want to bring, I want to bring up first. This comes from uh, Blah. Blah says, has no one mentioned how much emphasis Blue slash the episode put on the fact that Pink was shattered by a sword? Rose's sword, did y'all forget the bismuth, made that sword, and she herself says that it can't shatter gems, only poof them. Pink is still alive, says Blah. So, <laughs> okay. Um... I guess since I feel like I know something that other people don't, I'll say this up front, then I'll get your guys' reaction. So if you watch the scene where, where Blue says, uh, the part where Blue says that uh, Rose was killed by a sword, she is not asserting that as a fact. She's reacting to what Steven said. Um, Blue does not know how, how, uh, how, uh, Blue does not know how Pink Diamond was killed. Blue asks Steven that. Steven says, I probably did it with the breaking point. And I guess Blue knows that the breaking point is a sword and says, she was killed by a sword. Now, she means it like 
indignant like she means like she was killed by a sword like more of a question but like her voice actress doesn't say it like that so it doesn't sound like that um she makes it sound like she's definitively stating it and not that she that she's reacting to steven and i believe that's on purpose to play up the ambiguity of the line but i don't think that blue is asserting that like as something that happened i think she's saying steven thinks that uh blue was killed by a sword with the with the breaking point and that's what blue is re- reacting to um did you guys interpret it that way yeah, I did. Yeah, I did as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on your side, yeah. Dylan. <laughs> yeah. I think she was probably reacting to like like a sword is such a simple little thing. Like, how could that have right. happened? And probably like, oh, it, I I don't know if they can feel pain or anything, but maybe it's like a painful way to die kind of thing. And she's sad about that. Yeah, but. I think she was like indignant mm-hmm. that a sword could take down a diamond. But um, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. But uh, it's 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 like this is not a fact. Is the main point here? It's not a fact yeah. that Pink was killed by a sword. Mm-hmm. Blue is just reacting to that information being presented to her, and Stephen does not know what happened as is established. So it's it's and no, he definitely didn't. Right. <laughs> no, he, he really doesn't have any idea. <laughs> no, no I definitely agree that if like Rose used Rose's sword to attack Pink Diamond, that it's sort of is incapable of shattering. But we don't know if that's what happened because that hasn't been definitively stated. Well, the other thing is also that they're going off of you know, Steven slash Rose Quartz's statement as to what happened in the event or what took place when Pink Diamond was shattered. But I mean, I, and I, I asked this question and I'm asking you guys, cause I honestly can't remember. Have we ever seen an actual gem be shattered yet? Hmm. I, I feel like we have, not but sure. maybe not. Not sure. <laughs> Well, so the reason why I ask that is because uh, uh, if them being shattered looks exactly like them being poofed, then, okay, Mm. everyone can be deceived that way. But if it's not, if it doesn't happen in, I guess, the same way, then that's like almost, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, well, then now we need to find somebody who was there who can confirm or deny yes, she was poofed or no, she was shattered. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Cause I think you'd be able to tell the difference. Cause even when you see just them, like when Amethyst like knocked a piece of her gem off, like, or Lapis's gem, you could see an obvious difference from just being poofed. Yeah. But, yeah. So- I know that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I probably think we haven't seen a shattering. Um, it makes sense. It does. That's a good point that we don't know if they look different. You would assume from the name that poofing the gem stays intact, shattering the gem literally shatters. Um, mm-hmm. but I guess we don't know that for sure. Uh, also, even if that is the case, uh, there could be like, uh, illusions involved with any of this. So you can't really count it out. What you mentioned, mm-hmm. the, you mentioned like it, people viewing it happen. What the thing that I'm kind of the most unclear on after all of this is who actually saw this event. I really yeah. don't know. Yeah. Who saw it and where are those people? Where are, like, where is Pink's entourage? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, that was one thing that I was like, well, if all these people saw it, then where are they? Like, <laughs> right. I wonder if, I just thought of something. Maybe Pink didn't actually have the entourage that Blue and Yellow and whatever White is thought that she did. Instead, maybe the Crystal Gems were her entourage and she was, like, feeding them false information or something. If she was, like, harboring a rebellion. Um just a theory, because I have no idea, because it's not like, I don't think Rose, well, maybe their gems are, like, in the temple, too, of all her entourage as well. You never know. But I was the, confused about that, too. The only thing that, like, I guess, you know, kind of goes against that is that when they listed off the, because they made sure to list off the gems that were in her entourage. Mm-hmm. And they said, what was it? Agates, Agate, pearls, sapphires. sapphires. Yes, yes. I guess, and yeah. that well, was it. Yeah, we don't know of any pink. Uh, that was new information that pink had uh, agates and sapphires. So uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but they never like I feel I feel like that if Ro- like Rose Court or any courts were a part of that entourage, they would have made the point to say it. You yeah, know what right? I mean? Because yeah. they made they made it a very clear point to be like, well, her entourage consisted of sapphires and pearls and agates, mm-hmm. but and so then that was, was it. I can't seem to remember. Were the rubies there? Like, did they actually see? I, 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 I Bal is presenting herself as being there. Yes. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm still yeah. unclear on whether Ibal was actually there. 
Um, as, as opposed, in terms of Rose being in the entourage, she might may, we still don't know if Rose was in Pink Diamond's entourage. We know that mm-hmm. they present that uh, at the time of the shattering, uh, Rose had been in known quantity as an enemy for several hundred years. So uh, true, it's, it's, yeah. it's it's irrelevant at that point. Um, yeah, yeah. True. Right. So the, the contenders of who witn- the, who the witnesses are are Pink's entourage, Eyeball, maybe others. It's uh, very not and and the Crystal Gems. Uh, all of it's very unclear to me. I think the show is very intentionally obfuscated who saw this um yeah. I, I like it's it's more than that uh ambiguous uh like sword line which i think like you can interpret the correct thing but it's just they're just trying to hide it like this they're just mm-hmm. they really aren't presenting this information they like we mentioned the entourage here i think there's an implication in the episode that yellow is suppressing the pink entourage from like testifying or presenting their side um yeah it, maybe that's mm-hmm. like that that's i feel like is the cover-up that would be referred to here but uh it's also ambiguous what yellow's intentions are and we have a whole category on that so uh let's you know, <laughs> we, have, we have a category for him you yeah think? so we'll get more into that let's take more uh there's a lot of different separate thoughts on uh pink diamond uh being not dead part of a conspiracy let's take race uh race point what if rose managed to talk pink diamond around to her way of thinking she defects and yellow either shatters her shatters her or less uh or less about her being sh- or like covers up about her being shattered possibly even rose fakes her being shattered to allow for the defection remember rose's sword was designed specifically not to shatter gems yellow pushes for them to drop uh the corruption bomb to cover up the whole thing uh man this season is just gonna be gold for fan theorists yes as we as we can see ray this is definitely <laughs> true um Right. So if yellow, so clearly a, an, a possibility is that, uh, pink diamond defected to Rose's side. Um, I don't think the show has presented any evidence of that, uh, zero. Uh, but, uh, it's, zero. it's like, uh, it's something that, uh, you could see the narrative going towards. Um, and mm-hmm. if that happened, yellow mm-hmm. may have like, quote unquote, justifiably shattered her. So it may not have been yellow betraying, uh, pink. It may have just been that pink betrayed yellow and yellow reacted. Um, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It also could have not been yellow. It could have been white diamond. Or it could have been white, know. which we also have a section on. So we'll get to that. Yep. Um, <laughs> I know. I was yes. just alluding to it. Yes. Pa- Patron Alex says, uh, as to the narrative of Stephen bringing Lars back to life, I posit that we have no way to know uh, that uh, could work for Shatter. We have no way to know that could work for Shatter Jams, especially given that we've only seen this on organic life thus far and corpses that were unharmed for the most part. I can't see Rose's healing power being so OP that she can put a diamond back together on the other hand the fact that gem shards seek their missing parts makes this a slight possibility i don't believe in it but i don't want to discount it entirely so this isn't something i thought of during the recap podcast alex makes a great point here um we have not seen evidence of steven's powers uh steven and therefore rose's powers uh to bring things back to life being used on gems just lars and probably although i don't believe it a lion like uh it's it's, uh you know so those are two organic beings gems work very differently um any you know any any reactions to that potential point um i like his point that he mentions that um even though he doesn't really believe it but they (laughs) do seek out their other half like we've seen with the cluster because mm-hmm. um, that would make me think that maybe it's because we don't even know how Steven's healing powers work because maybe it's like making all the cells that are damaged reform or whatever. Maybe it's the same system, I suppose, with the shards coming back together. Um, but I feel like it's within the realm of possibility with the healing powers because we have no clue what their limitations are. Yeah, <laughs> or it, their mechanisms. It's, hard to, it's hard to say, especially because we don't know. I mean, yeah. he he can help what... Like, I mean, he helped Amethyst when her gem cracked, and he helped Lapis when her gem was also... But is it does it work the same if they're completely sp- split apart? Because being mm-hmm. cracked and being shattered are two different things, so... Yeah. But then I at mean, the same time, like, having a cut in your arm is very different from being dead as well. Like, <laughs> so I think it's kind of equated in a way. I don't yeah. see it outside the realm of possibility. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I just think we have no evidence on non-organic, uh, no. you know, that the, the, here's the thing. It's, it's very tempting to just assume how these, how power, how anything presented and wanted works. Um, these powers included, I don't have enough evidence on how, uh, Rose's healing powers work to say anything for certain other than Rose and Steven seem to be able to bring humans back to life. That's like it. That's all Which we really, crazy. that's all we really know. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we know at this point. Yeah. yeah. And, 
Maybe we'll explore it later. I, I think probably. <laughs> Hopefully. I think probably Rose can repair shattered gems. I think that's probably true. I don't think that's too far along from repairing cracked gems. Um, mm-hmm. you, you know, but I, I have no evidence to back that up. So we, no. you know, we just have to, no. we just have to see in the future. Um, anonymous says new theory. Pink is the original crystal gem. Yellow secretly employed one of her own Rose Quirk soldiers to assassinate Pink under the guise of a potential truce to gain access to Pink. Pink convinced Rose to join her and help fake her death. Rose agrees and Yellow believes Pink is dead, but Rose had a change of heart. So she blends, the, so she, uh, pins the blame on Rose and decides not to tell Blue the whole truth to spare the potential grief of learning Pink had betrayed them. Um, there's a lot of, uh, like uh, feedback items oh. like this. I have trouble following <laughs> these theories. Uh, <laughs> so is it two roses? Yeah, I think, I think one is of the, one? I think one of the roses is supposed to be something else. So, um, I think it's supposed it. to be like a yellow, a yellow rose and a pink rose. Yeah. Oh, two. There's two rows. Okay. Um, that's what it's meaning. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the concept of two roses is a whole nother issue. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> too many roses <laughs> yeah, we still haven't gotten to, into all of them i think this i think the trial presents rose's powers as being unique to rose courts um yes. that is a like potential posited by uh whoever present i think eyeball maybe presents that um it's not definitive but uh we've always wondered can all rose courts do what our rose can do and i think that the trial mm-hmm. at least is is presenting a likelihood of the fact that our rose has special powers um, yes. Yeah. But the the other thing that I think of whenever um you know they talk about like you know Rose's powers and things like that is that Rose's powers seem to have developed from the time that she spent on Earth and has sort of gotten to develop and discover them. So I wonder if maybe yes other Rose Quartzes have those powers but They've never been believed to have them because they've always been suppressed in what they can and can't do. Where does where does that belief come from that uh, the powers develop on Earth? Uh, well, because uh, um, Peridot, she gained a power after mm. being on Earth. So, <laughs> okay, that's that's a good point. Never know. I've always been confused because you know how the Gem Society is so regimented. Like what is what are Rose Quartz's role? Because they seem yeah, to be we don't, we don't know. kind of like compassion, but then they're good with a sword as well, and <laughs> seem really powerful. Pro- prob- yeah. pro- they probably they? they're soldiers because they're quartzes. Probably. I was gonna yeah. say yeah, I think right. They're soldiers the just like uh, um, like you know, Amethyst and, and, and Jasper. Yeah, maybe they're like personal bodyguard soldier type of things, like Secret that are Service? meant to like. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, just because she seems to have so many powers that are related to like emotions, so maybe mm-hmm. it's something to help that diamond and also defend. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I can see that. We, 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 we know very, again, we know very little is. about roses. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll, very. <laughs> I want to meet them all. <laughs> they're all <laughs> they're all bubbled in the zoo. So I know, uh, I know. Uh, well, is it all of them? Or it, I we, it don't was all we don't know. We don't know. We don't know if it's all of them. Yeah, it's probably. I was gonna say. I, I thought like it was all of the ones that came is. from Earth. It is probably all of the remaining Earth roses. Yes. 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 We, yeah. We don't, okay. we don't know if ro- <laughs> we don't know if roses is a specific Earth thing. You know. Um, yeah. No, because Yellow said yeah. something about like the whole cut is needs to be destroyed or something like that yes mm, yeah. yeah which could refer to all roses or just this type of rose. or just earth or, maybe yeah, there's exactly. you know maybe yeah. rose quartz is a specific type of quartz but there's other similar quartzes you know like that's mm-hmm. jasper okay so there's a lot here okay next uh, We're derailing. Uh, <laughs> anonymous says one thing i still have issues with are we certain rose isn't actually pink diamond she seems to have an awful lot of powers for a generic gem like diamond can bring people animals back to life if so why would they make a gem more powerful than themselves i mean maybe rose just developed her powers because of the power of love or something Thing, but I don't know. That seems a little odd. Haley and April, have we put the <laughs> roses, pink diamonds, to bed yet, or no? I have. Yes, I have. As this, well. this is one of the most popular yeah. fan theories. I asserted this for a long time, but yeah, I think it's dead. Um, I know. I used to be on this train, but then no longer. After the I whole, was on it. I was on it as well. Order. So I do. <laughs> yeah. I do. I, I do not. I do agree that I don't understand why our rose has so many powers. And uh, mm-hmm. first of all, I don't think that we can rule out that the diamonds also have these powers. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah it's, true. it's, it's really not clear why Rose has these, maybe, maybe April's right. And there's something about being on earth that unlocks the potential of diamonds that homeworld suppresses. Um, there's, you know, maybe, uh, it's something like the power of love, which I hope not, but, uh, it's, you know. <laughs> there's also to defend that Rose having all these powers. Like, I don't think the diamonds can see the future like sapphires do. 
I mean, that's why they built them to have that power. You would think that they can. not Yeah, you would think so. Yeah, like, why would you have a sapphire if you can see the future yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Chris Dollar Dollar Baby says, Don't forget, there was a super early episode of Pearl and Amethyst trying to hide that they popped a rose quartz bubble that had gem fragments in it. Pearl said herself that Rose was incapable of healing gem fragments back to life. Also, it's still plausible that Rose did shatter pink because we're forgetting that the sword is Bismuth's finest work and was capable of poofing any gem. At the very least, Rose poofed Pink Diamond, but I do still like the idea that Yellow was one of was the one who actually shattered her and covered it up by blaming uh, the one who poofed her. Um, okay, second part first. I'm not discounting that the Rose's sword thing. I just don't think that's a fact. Like, certainly Rose's, Rose didn't want to use the breaking point, and Rose's sword mm-hmm. can't shatter gems. That was the big evidence why after bismuth we were all like man pink diamond's not dead like that's what bismuth the episode bismuth alluded to um Mm -hmm. it's just not it's just not factual um this first part is interesting because i just don't i have like very little recollection of steven universe season one so i don't remember this episode (laughs) Uh, well and i'm even trying to remember it and i probably just watched it like last week or something like that and i'm like i'm gonna have to watch watch that episode again because I don't, mm-hmm. I don't remember that line, but I feel like I would have. I have, I have a vague, re- I, yeah. I, I, it vaguely makes sense in like my brain. Really vague. That, uh, Pearl, yeah. That I don't think, I agree. I don't think the crystal gems know that Rose could potentially bring back gems. I think that's, that's incongruous yeah. with our or their perception. I feel mm-hmm. like that's another one of like, that would be one of Rose's secrets, which are yeah. always a thing. So <laughs> pretty big power. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I definitely am under the impression <laughs> that this life, life restoring power, even for humans was a secret from the crystal gems. Mm-hmm. But but again, you know, not not factual. Okay. Um and uh patron Andy says, um Okay, here's here's a really interesting thing. So uh, this is a whole another podcast, probably. As, I love this. As I was doing so some uh, some research into the composition of Homeworld, I took another look at the map of Earth. The holes in Russia, Africa, and Australia correlate with the top 10 largest diamond mines on Earth. There are five, mi- five of those mines in Russia, four in Africa, and one in Australia. There are no other holes in the continents besides at these locations. This seems to imply that they were making a diamond on Earth, and if that was pink diamond, it would explain why she uh, uh she uh, only was one planet on her mural um yes to all of this okay i love it is, <laughs> awesome. what i want to know is is this an established theory that pink diamond was made on earth like i don't know if i've heard this before. i don't know i, I feel like it I might make I've sense no i've never heard this before but i can see why it would make sense if you because if it's like your planet and you're made from it yeah i love i love the justification um, I definitely think that the holes are not randomly placed on uh, Earth. We're no. referring to the brief glimpses no. we've gotten of Steven Universe's Earth map. Um, I do, mm-hmm. I do think it, we shouldn't take for granted that Steven Universe's Earth correlates to our diamond deposits because they're not the same thing. Um, they're like an alternate version of uh, our world. But um, yeah, you don't just take out half of Russia or like the whole of Russia and everything. like. There's got to be a reason behind this. Yeah, I'm on I'm on board yeah. because I do think the map holes will be explained and uh pink being from Earth would be really interesting. Uh mm-hmm. yeah, I mean it's like uh she's definitely the younger sister then and like they made another diamond and maybe they're all attached to her as yeah. like the new diamond and mm-hmm. like yeah. It's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. she's the baby of the family. And I think and I think this go this would go <laughs> along with uh pink pink defecting to Rose's side and protecting Earth. Like I think th- I think this probably yeah. goes hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. I think that mm-hmm. one would that would this theory would support the pink defecting theory. So I agree. Cause and they, I, I cause kind like, of like it. <laughs> yeah. Cause the crew loves doing stuff like this where they just put like little hints of stuff and then it pays off real big later. Like with the beginning of the last um, spree of episodes with the whole like my dad thing. Like that was a random line, however long ago. And it spurred on an entire plot. Yeah chapter mm-hmm. like, yeah. so i feel like this would end up paying off into something yeah. eventually there's a whole all, there's yeah. also this whole notion which we'll get to in a second actually in that there's an era one and era two diamond logos and that the, the different diamond logos one doesn't have pink one does have pink the later one having pink supports the pink was the newer gem that would also this 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 uh pink being from earth would also go along with that uh that idea um but we're going to mm-hmm. talk about that more when we talk about white diamond let's get into yellow diamonds okay yeah um, <laughs> yellow diamond the star of the trial i think probably uh oh yeah a lot of secret mm-hmm. Best. Mm-hmm. Best. uh patron <laughs> alex says yellow diamonds reaction she's a hothead and took offense to being accused of shadowing her fellow diamond how would you react to someone even hinted at you being the killer of your murdered sister um fair point 
So that doesn't just because she gets mad uh, doesn't mean she's the killer. Yeah, that's true. But it's also it's an extremely fair point because even I thought, I mean, initially I was like, oh yeah, Yellow Diamond's totally behind this. But then and go like watching it again, I was like, oh well, I mean, she's just been accused of murdering her sister. I'd be pretty mad too. Like I don't even have a sister, but <laughs> so, yeah. and it's not it's not outside her character to get mad like to get mad and angered quickly over anything so yeah i i will say definitely watch the trial a second time yellow is actively suppressing the trial the entire time it's happening um it is oh yeah it's not just a reaction to the end yellow wants to shatter rose uh, shatter steven slash rose and be done with it uh, the entire everything mm-hmm. she says in the trial is is for that notion. Clearly, they were storyboarding that episode with the intent of conveying that. Um, you can interpret that as Yellow seeing no need for defense or for like uh, even having this trial and just wanting to get done with it and go to more. But uh, there's clear the episode. I will say like it's not like just like a, a, a it's not a fan theory that Yellow killed Pink. This episode wants you to think that. Uh, yeah yeah and th- that's oh, the definitely. other thing i thought too is that this is what the episode wants you to believe like like, like i don't think this episode <laughs> would present us the truth and what it wants us to believe so i actually think yellow didn't kill no Pink, never but yeah like exactly. that's that's what the episode wants us to think like we are being manipulated to to come to that conclusion i i feel strongly that that is what's happening in the trial um patron steve says um i didn't i don't know if yellow shattered pink but her reaction is the re- is the actions of a red herring in these situations i think i probably agree with that yeah um, yeah same yeah okay it was just too dramatic yeah like they're leading up to something bigger they wouldn't just tell us now yeah uh, it's gonna be huge and complicated I, i'm excited especially if it's a yeah. long drawn out arc yeah it's we're, we're... there'll be emotions and oh so you mean you <laughs> mean steve you mean everything. steven universe yeah i got that part yeah, yeah. And, and what and crying <laughs> in songs too yeah um oh yeah love that. <laughs> of course <laughs> it's gonna happen soon yeah. uh water shuriken on tumblr old friend tido says um uh, I'm going to see if I can follow along with this. Okay. OMG, what if Yellow Diamond plotted against White Diamond, Pink Diamond found out, Yellow Diamond contacted Rose, made a deal, Yellow Diamond called out Blue Diamond from the pal- palanquin, shattered her, Rose took the fall, the deal was that she would leave Earth alone, Yellow Diamond covered it up, notice Eyeball belongs to Yellow Diamond, her testimony is questionable, Yellow pla- planned on betraying Earth with the cluster to cover up her collab with the Resistance. Um, uh, yellow had rose bubble all the other rose quartzes afterwards since all their bubbles are pink the chest inside uh lion has proof of it all <laughs> again i have trouble following these so i i there, there's a lot of que- i have, have asked that say a lot of feedback items that say the chest has the answer to this question i think that's possible for sure yeah i can see yeah that. i'm not clear that yellow that eyeball belongs to yellow i guess that's true because but i don't i think so don't they have a bunch think- of yellow tri or diamonds in their ship yeah, it I seems like say, Ruby's kind of sure, work for a bunch of them, though. I'm pretty sure that yeah, uh, eyeball belongs to Yellow Diamond because I think they, I feel like they mentioned it in a. Uh, the didn't diamond. they say they were sent by her to find Jasper? Yeah, right? they did say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, yeah. Uh, I I don't. Uh, what do you guys think of this conspiracy? I think it, so. I th- my understanding of it is this conspiracy is that <laughs> basically Yellow Diamond contracted Rose to kill Pink. Essentially, yeah. I don't. I don't believe it. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't believe. I, I do think we should at least consider the possibility of Yellow and Rose working together because Yellow's reaction yeah. would also make sense yes. with with that. Um, I think it would. I think would. the idea that Yellow contracted Rose would make sense, but. I think that's about as far as I'm on board. She's like with a this. double agent or something. I, I think this is the only <laughs> item that asserts that, though. So, like, this is worth considering because Yellow, like, wanting to hide evidence of her conspiring with the rebellion, even if it was just to her own gain for the cluster or something, we're going to get to a really interesting cluster one soon. Um, like, uh, that's that, that makes sense with the way she reacted to everything. Uh, hide up the fact that she was the betrayer and uh, not uh, Pink or whoever else, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say this is. Pla- I'm gonna say this aspect of this is plausible. Uh, most things I think uh, have been pretty. Most things. Okay. I'm gonna say plausible and potentially likely here. Most things I think presented so far have been plausible, but not potentially likely. I think this one. Um, 
I, I can't really discount anything here. So uh, let's continue. So here's a long one from Trevor, who emailed in. <laughs> um, uh, okay, I, I'm going to try to read it all. Okay. Um, I interpret Yellow Diamond's actions in three potential ways. First is to take it at face value in that she is reacting to the audacity of a lesser gem accusing Diamonds of a crime. We've seen Yellow Diamond react with extreme violence and immediacy in the face of defiance, such as when Peridot made a case for the preservation of Earth in her communication with Yellow Diamond. Likewise, we see Yellow Diamond express grief over the shattering of Pink Diamond in the song What's the Use of Feeling Blue, thus knowing that she's actually hurting inside from the loss, to then be accused of playing the part of shattering pink diamond is an affront that strikes her deeply okay pause um this is the this is the take this is the trust yellow diamond uh perspective which we've seen asserted already right like this is um mm-hmm. this makes sense yeah. this makes sense i'm kind of yeah. with this okay. i feel like yeah. i feel like i'm mostly with this i feel like yellow knows maybe something that she's not i don't feel like she's not telling blue everything that she knows But I feel like we've seen moments where kind of like her guard has gone down a little bit and it seems like she actually is hurting from Pink Diamond and all the anger that she's showing is kind of just how she's processing the grief as we've seen in the song and everything. Um, But yeah, I'm kind of I feel like Yellow knows a bit more than she's saying, but I don't think she did it outright or plotted to do it necessarily. Uh, the only because th- th- why would she kill a diamond? Right. Well, unless she was rebelling. Right. It's yeah, you know, there's, yeah. there's there's a, the only thing I, sh- <laughs> I want to always know. People always bring up Yellow's reaction of grief. Um, it was very brief. Mm-hmm. I don't trust it. it I don't brief. trust her. Like uh, <laughs> yeah. I think she could have been putting on a front here. No. Like uh, no. it's I, I do think it's valid. Like that. She, yes, she, we saw her being sad. She could have done that on purpose. You know. Mm-hmm. Very okay. true. Very true. Um, and who's to say that maybe a small part of her wasn't sad? Right. And she could have still been sad even if she did it. Yeah. 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 True. Yeah, because I'm sure no one, well, no one seems to, I guess, take pride in shattering other gems. So, no. nonetheless, one someone who would be considered a sister. So, yeah, can... and something like a powerful diamond too, because yellow seems to respect power. Mm-hmm. That's why I, I just don't know. I don't see yellow doing it. Okay, but maybe we'll, we'll, if she was rebelling enough, we'll get there. Let's <laughs> let's continue with the possibilities. Say, Trevor, continue yes. Trevor's uh, email. Second, <laughs> secondly, you can look at her reaction as one of guilt and a desperate attempt to cover up the murder. What would Yellow Diamond have to gain? I think she already tipped her hand in earlier episodes. I think she wants the cluster as a new super weapon for the Gem Empire. I think the point of contention between Yellow and Pink was also implied in earlier episodes. Peridot shows the Crystal Gems the plans for Earth in uh, in the Gem Empire, a huge uh, huge hub for travel and colony world. I think this was the plan Pink Diamond had for Earth, uh, be, uh, for Earth because the cluster, if allowed to emerge, would destroy Earth, not terraform it into a colony. Peridot is very clear on that. I think the cluster and the shard fusions are a secret program initiated by Yellow Diamond. It also explains why Yellow Diamond left Earth alone afterward, because she knew the cluster needed time to incubate. Um, so, this is my pause. Mm-hmm. I love this paragraph. <laughs> like, this is the thing that makes the most sense. This is the thing that makes the most sense to me, potentially out of everything we're going to talk about today. Yes, I agree as well. This one definitely... Like, I'm a, I'm on board for this I, Like this one. And if it if it happened, like... I would be pleasantly surprised and happy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm also on board with this one because I feel like it still kind of goes along with what I was saying earlier where I don't think yellow was like really like murdered, murdered pink. But I feel like she definitely had ulterior motives maybe and isn't quite as sad as blue as we've seen. But no, I like it. And also because we need to bring, bring the cluster back at some point. So it would make sense to bring it back in this way. Yeah, here, here are the main oh, things that yeah. this, the main logic that this satisfies for me that I love. One is, uh, like Haley just said, the cluster. Um, we have mm-hmm. seen Yellow mention the cluster several times. The cluster being she ye- really likes the cluster it. being yellow's She's thing. She's about it. The cluster being yellow's thing is very appealing to me because of the way that has been presented in the show. Um, pink, like not wanting Earth to be destroyed instead of terraformed, um, also potentially makes sense because we saw her with just one mm-hmm. planet. We potentially see the Andy theory of her being from Earth. That all makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. the main thing I love about this is that it makes no sense why the crystal gems were left alone on Earth. For 5,000 years. <laughs> I, it's pretty true. I've always hated that aspect. And I would love an explanation. Um, and this gives me an explanation. Yellow's just been waiting for the cluster to emerge with kind of already, we, you can take that, ex, you can take that part separately. Um, you can say that mm-hmm. that was, uh, that was always true. Like they left Earth alone to, uh, for the cluster. But 
if yellow was overrunning that project specifically, that would make more sense. Like this is something that means a lot to yellow that the cluster emerges. Mm -hmm. So that's why yellow just says, um, covers up Rose's murder, ignores the fact that there are crystal gems left on earth. Potentially blue does not know that there are crystal gems left on earth. Um, and, Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. he does seem to know that the cluster exists though. Cause remember she said blue when she saw, yeah, yeah. um, Greg, she was yeah. like, you're going to die soon. Basically yeah. like your whole world. Yeah. So, so it's not a yeah. secret project anymore, but, um, it's potentially no. possible it was, and no. it's possible it's yellow's pet project. It could also I think, be another, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, it could also be another instance where like, even though like this might've been like an underlying thing that was taking place between yellow and pink. And so maybe yellow is slightly a, afraid that like because of this I guess argument that they were having she could then be pinned guilty for the murder of Pink Diamond true you know what I mean it's kind of one of those like oh I wish I hadn't done that kind of thing yeah. but look at what's happening now <laughs> there's there's a lot the, I think the key point is there's a lot of potential motivations for Yellow to cover things up that don't involve having her killed Pink um, yeah, yeah I like that that makes sense to me, especially. There's other reasons. Yes. Okay, continuing with uh, mm-hmm. Trevor's. Uh, th- uh, third is a variation in the second theory. Yellow Diamond didn't murder Pink, but she knows who did. White Diamond. And because Yellow Diamond fears for her life and the life of Blue Diamond, she decides to facilitate a cover-up or help in creating a cover-up and then maintaining it by trying to get Blue Diamond to move on, destroy Earth with the cluster in case there's any remaining evidence, continuing the propaganda campaign that it was Rose Quartz who shattered Pink Diamond, avoid or silence any questions, and silence anyone who might know the truth. This leads to the biggest question from the trial. What happened to the mysteriously absent sapphires, agates, and pearls in Pink Diamond's entourage that apparently witnessed the shattering and gave eyewitness testimony, but were not available to be brought to the court to give their accounts of events. I think sapphires, agates, and pearl were shattered with pink diamond or bubbled along with the other rose quartzes. Um, okay, this goes in conjunction with two, and I also really like this. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I really like this one as well. One really, one really <laughs> interesting point that Trevor asserts here is that the cluster could potentially just also be part of the cover up, like keep mm-hmm. destroying Earth and prevent yeah. anything from having happened. Um, you know, like what is one colony to the home world, which potentially has, uh, we don't really know, but potentially has hundreds of colonies. Um, mm-hmm. maybe yellow is so bent mm-hmm. on the cluster because it's like, let's put this earth thing to bed. Um, I'm, you know, like, uh, this, this will definitively destroy the remaining evidence. Of course, with this, this, this paragraph also asserts about the agates and pearls. Um, I agree. Uh, sapphires, agates, pearls. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Something happened to yeah. them. Yeah. Something's up there. I- I really, I really, really like this this theory because it it seems to play into the show, and it it also plays into that murder mystery kind of theme, I guess, that we're going for for this season. So it's, I like it. It seems solid mm-hmm. to me. Yep. I don't think that. And it, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, but I also really enjoyed that it brings like this one also brings back the cluster because I never felt that that whole situation was completely resolved. So no, definitely not. I don't think this part is predicated on white diamond done that doing the killing. Um, I think that's an interesting Mm -hmm. angle, but I think you can take the remaining uh, aspects of that without white diamond. So let's get into white diamond. Uh, great job, Trevor on that. I think Trevor's, uh, potentially really close. Trevor's awesome. Okay. We have also (laughs) a lot on white diamond. Um, Gurren prime says white diamond killed pink, similar motivations to what yellows would be, but I don't think they'd make it this obvious. Pink Diamond's gem, either pieces revived uh, or revived but somehow altered, is in the treasure chest inside Lion. Um, this is just to, this is to, uh, to the point and uh, potentially, uh, <laughs> you know, two main points. White Diamond killed Pink uh, because it's not as obvious as Yellow, but it still can make sense. And uh, the shards are inside Lion. Um, I think a lot of people might agree with this. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah. yeah. You know, it appeals to the masses. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> continuation of Grand Prime. As for White Diamond being a fusion, why would her color still be on the symbol if Pink was removed? Shouldn't Pink's death also kill any fusions involving her, thereby thereby killing off White and removing that color as well? Then there's the fact that White Diamond's, Diamond's mural prote- uh, depicts her gem on her forehead, and no fusion so far have had gems moved to new spots on the body. Um, so there, I have a lot of reactions to my assertion, uh, that White Diamond is a fusion. We discussed this on the trailer podcast. We're all kind of like, oh, that's really interesting. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of, I'm seeing some pushback here. I, the gem on the forehead thing, sure. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. There's, I have, I have no, I have no <laughs> contrary points, but I don't see why. I don't know the rules of diamond fusion. Maybe they're different is, was what, yeah. what my point would be. Yeah. 
Uh, we don't have rules on diamond fusion. Yeah. Not really. Um, here's one main point I want to make about white diamond. We're in the white diamond section here. We all really need to remember this one basic point. The show has never said the words white diamond. Those have never been said on Steven Universe. It is o- Can they really happen? There's, it's, it's, nope. it, it, is, it is only um, tendential. It is only kind of a thing that White Diamond even exists. The only reason we have any concept of White Diamond existing is because of her mural, the James in uh, her mural on the mu- on the moon, the gem symbol, mm-hmm. and the best evidence is uh, on Homeworld. We just saw a giant White Diamond. Que- question- yeah, I freaked out when yeah. I saw that. Que- <laughs> it's not clear what that is. I don't know what to call it. It's no. a gi- something a, 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 sil- a silhouette of White Diamond is yeah. seen on Homeworld. Um, yeah. It seems to not be animated, but uh, it's not clear. Um, really keep this. That in- was really, really cool. Really keep this in mind here. White Diamond is not a character on the show yet. Um, I, my, my main point as to why white diamond is a fusion of all three diamonds and not, uh, her own entity is because white diamond was not at the trial. Um, as, as to this, uh, as to this point, let's take a, uh, long, uh, thing here from, uh, David, uh, Schuttenhelm who says, uh, going in, I didn't buy the white diamond is a fusion idea. On both Era 1 and Era 2 Diamond Authority logos and the murals on the moon base, White Diamond is is symbolically presented as roughly co-equal with the other diamonds. Um, Also, Dylan is wrong about the floor on the trial chamber. It's just the Era 2 symbol with yellow, blue, and white triangles. The white one just kind of reads as pink because there's a general pink haze around all of them, but that's an optical illusion. But... I'm now coming around, uh, around more to the white diamond fusion theory for two reasons. One, she was conspicuously absent here. Surely the trial would have been great interest to her, or at least her absence would have uh, been acknowledged in some way. If she didn't uh, know uh, who's up for this, it would justify her showing up later in the series. Two, the larger statue structure we saw during the escape and on the title cards for off colors, even if it's not the image of white diamond, I think it is a, fu- I think it is a fusion of the diamonds. I think it would help, it would be a cool parallel if diamond home base is shaped like their fusion just like how the temple on earth is presumably the fusion of garnet amethyst pearl and rose um okay point number one uh dylan is wrong about the floor the the floor of the trial (laughs) chamber i have investigated this further uh my initial claim from back from the trailer was that uh the the trial chamber shows pink uh no white just pink blue and yellow and that they merge into white which would indicate a fusion um david is asserting that that is not uh is not pink is in fact white upon further investigation uh it is inconclusive so um i cannot discount this possibility much like everything else from wanted but uh this does kind of shatter one of my main uh, evidence for the for the pun pun intended for the uh for the uh fusion thing um you know it's probably just white i don't i don't think the era one era two thing that david talks about a lot of fans talk about this i don't think that that's definitive like it's not been presented clearly on the show but if that is true then probably that is white um and not pink uh yeah i noticed that too when i was watching it because i looked at it more closely and it was like changing its pinkness kind of Mm -hmm. i was like oh darn Uh, yeah it does (laughs) it does look a bit whiter than pinker (laughs) I, I think this might be an unintentional obfuscation from the show this time. Uh, like, I don't know if they intended to make it not clear whether that was pink or white, uh, but maybe they did. Yeah. Maybe they did. Yeah, it should be a coloring thing. Yeah, as as <laughs> as to the points of his, the reasons why he now does believe the white diamond is a fusion, um, I uh, I actually am not. I don't think this is as good of evidence. Like, I do still think white diamond is a fusion, but I don't buy the specific evidence. I do think her not being at the trial is significant. We'll see a counter soon um, from someone else. Uh-huh. Um, I don't the 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 statue thing being a fusion of all of them seems like pure speculation to me, even about the temple on Earth being a fusion of Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl and Rose. To my knowledge, that's not confirmed in any way. So I don't I was going to say that hasn't been confirmed either. No, it'd be awesome, but it hasn't been confirmed. I was going to say that's just speculation between all of us. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I think that's, uh, yeah. So I don't know. I don't think that's good proof, but, um, yeah. Where, so Haley, where are you? So I think we're all on board with the fusion idea potentially after the trailer. Mm-hmm. Where are you on white diamond being a fusion now? Uh, I can't tell because here's the thing that's kind of messing me up is that I, I've always been pretty firm thinking that our pearl is white diamonds pearl, just based on like the gem being on her forehead, but that wouldn't really make sense if she was a fusion, but maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like 
I want her to be a fusion because it would make sense to me why she's just never showing up and never being mentioned. And like we see in all the murals and everything, she does exist and people know that she exists and she seems to be important. So why would we never see her yet? Like it, it does, it, it is like that conspicuously absent kind of thing where, yeah, yeah, it kind of throws a wrench into my thinking that Pearl is white diamond, but maybe she's like lower down in the tier or something. But I think, I think I'm on the fusion train. So something, yeah, think. worth noting. If White Diamond is a fusion, Pearl cannot be White Diamond's Pearl. Be probably because uh, they would. They would. Yeah, not... maybe they hang out in a fusion form all the time. And you maybe they would have their own court. Yeah, not there. <laughs> uh, April, where are you? Where yeah. are you on the White Diamond fusion thing? Uh, uh, I I like the White Diamond fusion thing, but I don't. It's just so hard because you're right. She's never been mentioned. They never talk about her. But at the same time, I think about how the other diamonds, I guess, treat or are treated. And it's like, oh, well, this is like, a, so it's above her. There's no need for her to be there. Like, and no one would dare question why she wasn't there. Because in, I guess in this theory, she's she's so powerful that, I mean... She doesn't want to show up to a trial. She doesn't have to. I won't make yeah, okay. her. Let's not let you're getting into <laughs> Trevor's logic. So let's get back to Trevor here yeah. about um, this. Well, yeah, let's go back to White Diamond speculation. <laughs> Trevor says, I think White Diamond is not involved in the trial because diamonds are usually not involved in trials at all. I think they are well above such mundane aspects of running an empire due to their status. I think Blue and Yellow made an exception for this trial because it is Rose Quartz and the murder of Pink Diamond. With White Diamond not being present despite the gravitas of this trial, then that tells me either she does not care, has better, more important things to do like running the empire or she already knows what happened and how likewise i don't think white diamond is a fusion of all the diamonds if pink is necessary for the fusion and she is long gone and everyone knows it then why keep the imagery of a threat that no longer applies to keep the populace pacified it would be meaningless likewise if a fusion uh, of the diamonds results in white diamond and it is white diamond that serves as uh, the weapon that devastated nearly all the gems on earth at the height of the rebellion then i'd have to question the timeline i thought that the deployment of the gem weapon whatever it is happened in response to the shattering of pink diamond not the most serious lines uh, to be crossed in the uprising. Okay, uh, point one. Um, I think the more compelling thing is that latter last part. But point uh, point one about the imagery not changing. I don't find this to be uh, a compelling point. Um, the gems are millennia old. It, they didn't change their symbol because uh, white's gone. Whatever. Like I, that's not good evidence to me. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with that too. Yeah. So here's the, here's the good, here's the better point though, because this is, I've, 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 I think I've brought this up on the podcast in the past. Um, the timeline presented in the, uh, oh, I always, uh, blank on, uh, her name, but, um, in the, the, the episode with the white diamond attack, um, does not make sense with white diamond being a fusion. Agreed. This is the biggest evidence against, uh, the timeline presented is, um, pink gets shattered. Uh, and we see the white attack that devastates Earth in response. Um, that was my interpretation of that yeah. episode. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed that way. If that's true, if white if white is the attack, if pink shattered, then how could they be the fusion? This is my biggest point against the white diamond, and I think Trevor articulates it well. Yeah. The- mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think he he very much articulates it. It just, especially with the timeline thing, like, uh, yeah. like with that alone, I'm like, okay, well. You right, like <laughs> I think there could potentially be a way to get around that explanation, and with the timeline, um, but I'm not sure. I just feel like it would be kind of satisfying in terms of <laughs> making sense about why White Diamond is never seen, that she doesn't exist if Pink doesn't exist. Kind of, I don't know. That just seems good to me because it's like, why do they never talk about her? Like, it just seems weird. And if they do have all that imagery of her that we saw at Homeworld that is presumably pretty sure it looked like white diamond silhouette. It just seems odd that she's, I don't know, it just seems weird that she's not just walking around doing her thing. Yeah, I think the timeline is vague enough that um, we could, if we want to go in this direction, we can fill in the blanks and we can get to something that makes sense. Um, I don't think this is necessarily hard evidence against. It's the closest thing to, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, Personally, I don't know if white diamond's a fusion anymore. But my main thing is I'm highly skeptical <laughs> that White Diamond has just been off camera running the Empire this whole time. I don't think I don't Same. think that's true. Um, that 
That yeah. that seems to just like like why like, like no bring her in <laughs> like we see the other two a ton. It's too easy for the show, and I think her. we're too Way we're too, too far into the plot now to just leave out a, a huge element like that. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, you know. It, it's possible. It's, or it keeps us all coming back. It's, it's, it's possible. It's lifetime and diffusion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, there's, there's, the, there's our feedback on the who killed section. Um, any more clarity on who this is? I still don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I guess here's, okay, here's what I'll say. I still think Rose did it, um, which I think is an unpopular opinion. Um, but uh, I think that Rose did it and intended to bring her back to life afterwards because Pink is part of the conspiracy. So... I, uh, you know, I'm not confident in that, but that would, that would be my current <laughs> most likely interpretation. Yeah. yeah. One thing You're I'm taking a stance. <laughs> yeah. One thing I'm feel solid in is that pink was not an enemy of Rose and the crystal gems. More confident in the conspiracy than in Rosie. I agree yeah. with that because the, the yeah. reason why I say that yes. Rose still kid, Rose still killed. What about Zircon's evidence? Well, uh, mm-hmm. Pink was a- Rose was able to be close to Pink because Pink was in on it. Like this was a plan. It was exactly. a plan. Sh- it was exactly. a plan yeah. shattering. So okay, there we go. Yeah, they set up witnesses yeah. with the rubies. Although we got to figure out what's up with her court. But yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> confident in thinking that Pink was uh, like sympathetic with Earth, especially with the cool new theory about like the diamond mines and stuff too. That would make sense yeah. that she would feel ownership over it beyond just being the owner technically of it. Um, yeah. okay. Let's close things out here there by, uh, I'm, uh, we're going to get to even less feedback than I thought. I apologize to everyone who I'm not going to mention. Um, <laughs> but, uh, let's close things out by very, very quickly revis- briefly visiting is line pink diamonds. Um, I, I, I took a poll on the patron group, uh, before and after wanted before wanted 90% of patrons agreed with me that lion is pink diamond after wanted, uh, almost everyone disagrees and has switched to the other side. That line is not pink diamond. <laughs> the only people I have left are Steve and Mitch. They're the only people who believe in me. So I just switched mine actually. Oh, you switched to yes? <laughs> on your side again? again? Yeah, yeah, I saw you uh, not on my side. Okay. So <laughs> now I'm back. April, tell me what you think of this question right now and how, and how wanted affected your opinion very briefly. I don't think. Lion is pink diamond. So, and, and did and, and did you think Lion was pink diamond before Wanted? I was open to the idea, okay. but after Wanted, I'm I'm very confident in my what what, what my makes feelings. you confident presented in Wanted? What makes me oh, what makes me the most confident is the fact that Stephen brought Lars back. So what um, what aspect of that? Because Lars is a organic being; he's human. And so my idea is essentially behind Lion is that um, maybe s- something had happened to a lion because it's alluded to before. I think it's in the episode with uh, uh, what's his face. It's Buddy's got the book. book. Yeah. Buddy's book. Yeah. Buddy's yeah. book. So in Buddy's book, it's accounted for that Rose used to keep lions with her. And so. Um, I, my guess is that one of her lions had died and then she had accidentally brought that lion back to life, much in the same way that Steven did. And then it was just one of those things where she was like, I never have to use this because, you know, life and death is a natural part of the earth and it's, I guess, culture. So, but okay. no. Lion is not okay. pink diamond. Haley, Haley, <laughs> so what did you originally yeah. think? Why did you then think no and now yes? Well, I originally thought that Lion was pink diamond. I had a brief moment of hesitation where I was thinking kind of the logistics of turning a diamond into a lion <laughs> um, would be interesting. But now I'm back because I feel like Wanted confirmed it for me more than disproved it. Um because of a couple different reasons, where it looks like, and stir it up with, none of this is confirmed and it's so vague <laughs> and we don't know anything really. But it seems odd to me that if Rose did resurrect um, Pink Diamond, we would see three islands in like the hair place, I guess, <laughs> temporal space. Um, so it seems weird to me that we only have the two. And Lion is so involved. Also, the design of Lion, has, this has always been something for me, that Lion's mane looks a lot like Pink Diamond's hair. Um, but yeah, it just kind of confer- like seemed like evidence that would help 
explain how Rose would have been able to shatter Pink Diamond and bring her back. And maybe it's something where, um, like when someone said before, where her gem is in uh, the chest in Pink in Lion. Maybe it's something like that. And Lion is kind of like a holder of Pink Diamond or something like that. But I feel like this episode and Steven's newfound powers and Lars's abilities and everything just confirmed it for me further. Where it just makes sense to me that, and it would be so satisfying too to have that like she's been there the whole time kind of thing. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm you're on, on good, board. good. I'm glad, <laughs> I, have a third, I'm glad I have a fourth person now with me. Okay. Um, the, yeah, I, I agree. I, I agree. The gem could could still be in the chest, and it's like, where's the gem on Lion's body? Well, it could still be in the chest, and you know, whatever the log- just inside, whatever the logistics yeah. on that. Um, Legitimately inside the chest. Got it. Could could, could be. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, the maybe it's like delicate or something. Yeah, I don't. Or, I don't. Know. Know. The the, the yeah. islands thing. Um, agree. That's compelling evidence. The only problem is that what did Rose never bring anyone else back to life? Um, maybe. I guess not maybe like literally Pink Diamond was the only person maybe I don't know um, so here's where I'm at this list uh, obviously I'm still believing this I've heard really nothing to uh, everyone has something to say to me about this like it's not true anymore <laughs> look I've heard zero to convince me any a little even a little bit I, I, un- I yeah. understand That's I fair. understand that like Lion doesn't look like Pink Diamond but that was a problem beforehand I already had there was already a problem with this theory <laughs> And like, mm-hmm. and I understand that Lars is pink and Lars, you know, like this is, this is one data point We're we're allowing this, we're allowing a small sample size to affect our larger perspective here. Uh, you know, just cause it happened to Lars one way doesn't mean it affects gems a different way. Um, you know, this still makes a lot of sense. The only thing is I will say my uncertainty has gone up. I was, uh, I think, I think, um, so Mitch says, uh, the theory isn't dead. I don't think it's a coincidence that we learn Rose didn't shatter pink diamond and the fact that she can resurrect people in the same bomb. I think there's a connection. Hashtag line is pink diamond. Yes, Mitch. Um, so basically, <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Thematically this is the, this is the biggest, lines. I actually think uh, Awanta does present evidence. The biggest evidence is narrative, uh, connection. Um, like mm-hmm. the way to think what Steven Universe is going to do next is not what they presented to us already, because what they presented to us already is intentionally obfuscated and vague. The way to think about it is what makes what if you were writing the show, what would you like put in place to then pay off later? That wanted presents two things right next to each other that you could very easily easily connect. Um, like Mitch, like Mitch says here. Um, my uncertainty has gone up. I was like 80% sure this was true before Wanted. Now I'm only like 60% sure this is true because I thought that um, this would be the next thing that the show would address. Like after Wanted, we'd set up and Wanted this the reveal and then we'd go right to the reveal. And I don't think that's going to happen anymore. It doesn't seem like the show wants to address this yet. It seems like we want to get into this murder mystery with Pink Diamond first. And this is related, mm-hmm. but that's not going to pay off for a while. And I'm just in general very uncertain about anything that's going to happen a season from now. So, um, yeah, I still think it's probably yeah. true, but, um, I, and I understand that almost everyone agrees, disagrees on this. So yeah. <laughs> I wonder what will happen when Steven tells, um, the rest of the gems that he did this. Like, I wonder if they even know that Rose could do this. I feel like no, cause like we were saying earlier, April, it seems kind of like a, a thing she would hide, but yeah. I wonder if they'll like mention something or, and that may spur on more, um, exploration into that. But I don't know. It's really interesting. I love this bomb because it's really bringing together all sorts of different plot things like the cluster and all the diamonds and everything else and lion Mm -hmm. and kind of giving it more focus and momentum. I really like it. It was great. Um, it's a lot of momentum. I hope yeah. you keep yeah. it up. That's my so only many thing. theories. It's yeah. awesome. Those, those, <laughs> so I was going to ask theories. for closing thoughts, but those are good closing thoughts. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we didn't get to feedback on the off colors on Lars and a bunch of other stuff. I apologize, Hugh, for not getting to your Bismuth did it theory. Hugh thinks Bismuth did it. Um, oh, Bismuth. Yeah. Um, my, oh, Bismuth. I'll, 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 <laughs> five seconds. Give my feedback on the Bismuth theory. I think that the biggest evidence against Biz- Bismuth not shattering Pink Diamond is the fact that we've seen Bismuth in one episode. Like that, it's narrative evidence. It's yeah. not logistic evidence. So Hugh makes some good points, though. Um, and we'll, we'll, so maybe we'll get to the rest of this feedback in another podcast. Maybe we'll have part two of the feedback. Uh, you know, uh, we. I'm cutting us <laughs> off here, though. Thank, uh, thank you guys all for sending in feedback. Um, we, uh, you know, there's a lot here. Let, let us know your. Uh, thoughts on anything we talked about here or who did it give us your best guess and uh, hopefully steven universe will be back soon um and we will start to get answers to this question so thank you guys very much for listening you can find out more about uh 
this uh, podcast, this podcast at overlyanimated.com. Subscribe to us on at uh, overlyanimated.com slash iTunes. You consider becoming a Patreon, a patron at patreon.com slash overlyanimated. Thank you very much to all of our patrons, especially our patron of the podcast, Ryan, aka Brian. Uh, and thanks to all of our patron executive producers, uh, as always, John, Ryan, Steve, and Alex. Um, Good, good job, uh, Haley April. This is, <laughs> there's a lot here. You know, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll get back. And I know there's other new co-hosts that are also dying to get in on the, the wanted discussion. Like, uh, t- too, too much happening here. So, um, you know, let us know what you thought of the, we'll have, uh, Justin and Michelle will take their turn weighing in. Um, spoiler alert, I think, I, I guess we know what Michelle thinks from the polls that we ran on the Facebook group, but, uh, so the patrons already know, but, uh, that's a reason to become a patron. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for listening and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.